part one of the Battle of Russia, you saw the Russian people's historic defense of their land against centuries of unsuccessful invaders. You also saw how after five and a half months of Nazi blitz, the Russians stopped Hitler at the very gates of Moscow, and how, in spite of Hitler's prediction that by December of 1941, the swastika would fly over the Kremlin towers. December had come, but it wasn't the swastika that flew over the Russian capital, and it wasn't the Nazi conquerors who marched through the streets of the ancient city, but fresh reserves of the Red Army on their way to reinforce and relieve the front lines. The Russians read this appeal and knew what it meant. They remembered that in their past history, the time always came when they could turn and strike back. The time had come. Their old ally, the Russian winter, had carpeted the Russian land. And while in the churches of Russia, Men of God prayed for victory against the invader. lines, the men of the Red Army listen to the long-awaited order of the day. The whole world is looking to you to destroy the German hordes. The war you are fighting is a war of liberation, a just war. Death to the German invaders. Fighter command ready. Bomber command ready. Parachutists ready. Artillery in position. Tanks man. Cavalry in position. Infantry ready. Beyond those hills is the enemy. It was the Germans' turn to fight for their lives. Now, for the first time, it was the German army that retreated. Now it was for the Germans to learn the terrors of strafing.
village after village, town after town. On the Red Army swept through the country which for days and weeks had been under the invaders yoke. Out of the forests, out of only they know what hiding places, come the men and the women and the children that had once called these towns home. Soldiers and guerrillas find wives and mothers. Friends are reunited. There is thanksgiving in their streets, thanksgiving in their hearts. But there is also something else, something they will never forget, their ruined homes. The shattered towns they once had known as thriving and prosperous communities. They stand gutted now, ghostly relics of what they once had been. Nothing has been spared. <laughs> 